Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Um, yeah, so good Monday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. I hope everyone had an excellent weekend. It was really, I think, the last of the summer, yeah? The last of the summer weekends, from officially. So uh, anyway, back to work Monday, and it looks like we've got the morn Monday the Monday uh, liquid sunshine today again, so good to see that. Um, anyway, a lot going on. Um, this week is the deadline for our Europa Property um, Real Estate Guide for MIPIN. So anything you want to get in, send to us today or tomorrow. Let us know what's going on with you guys. If you want to promote yourselves at MIPIN, a lot of people going to it. I was looking through the, the list. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, the, not the 30,000 as always, but, you know, there's probably eight or nine thousand already on there so quite a lot That's you know good. you only need one in the end um so we got the magazine going uh, lots of great articles coming in come and join us in this edition also if you're at mippin come by our stand it's p3 b19 we've got some magazines there we'll have a we'll have a few coffee with craig cups so if you're one of the what do you want to say the first 10 First 10 visitors to the stand get a free coffee with Craig Cup. And of course, we're doing some interviews on the stand, so, so pop by. Um, we've got our own September events we want you to come to, which is September 16th. Um, we got two on the 16th, one in the morning for the, um, the Coffee with Craig live breakfast, which we've got some great speakers to talk about the industrial properties. Um, and you know, one of them, Robert Dobzhitsky, just said he was going to join us too from Panatoni. So interesting context if you're investing in, uh, in um, industrial Central Eastern Europe, that's a great thing to come to. Then in the evening, we've got our cocktail parties at La Regina Hotel. So definitely come for that, 16th. Um, also, October 20th and 21st, uh, the CEE Investment Awards going extremely well. A lot of new investors I see putting in nominations. Um, also, uh, I read off the last few days a few, uh, few of the jury members. We also want to um, just acknowledge um, Kane International, which is Daniel Harris. He's going to be on our jury. From Olivia Business Center, it's Jake um, um, Jeffcott. He'll be on. Also, from PNB Paribas Bank, it's Merrick. Um, Kowalski, and also TPA um, from TPA, it's Malgajata Dankowska, who's always who's been with us for a while, and great to have her on the jury. Um, also, the sponsors, of course, CFE, um, TPA, Black Blackbrook, uh, Blackbrook Capital, um, Arcadis, Panatoni, um, BPB, Deutsche Fanbrief Bank, and you know many others. So great to have you guys on as sponsors again. That's October twentieth, twenty first in Warsaw. Please join us for that. Um, so, Winston, welcome. Now it's time Morning. for now time for the exciting news of EuropaProperty.com. We'll shoot off to a commercial break, and we'll be back in just twenty seconds. Mapika surely is the most important event for the retail sector. No matter if we see retailers every day in our offices, Mapika is a point of reference for us. So welcome back, everybody, and uh, Winston Norman, our editor of EuropaProperty.com. Let us know how we're starting the week to this week. Yeah, thanks, Craig. And uh, we'll start in the industrial sector. And uh, Garby Industrial has, has entered the, uh, the Polish market with its first acquisition. Hmm. Uh, it's uh, described as a new flagship production and warehouse facility for Huber Group, and it's located in Wrocław. Hmm. Um, the, the, the parties have agreed a 22,000 square meter build to suit facility on a 20-year term said and leaseback transaction. And according to Martin Polak, he's the managing director of Central and Eastern Europe for Garbe. He says, we are pleased to secure our first transaction on the Polish market in such a core and well-established location. Together with Huber Group, we have a long-term view of operating in Wrocław and working together. And uh, Garbe's plans for Central Eastern Europe will initially focus on Poland, the Czech Republic, and mm -hmm. Slovakia. Great. We definitely have to get them involved in uh, the investment awards for like newcomer of the year. We yeah, know hopefully. Yeah. We know they're big in Germany, but good to have them have them here in Central Eastern yeah, Europe. There's a lot of a lot of work going on in the region, and uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be interested in that. Perfect. Uh, moving to Romania, and Speedwell have kicked off the construction works of a second building of the residential development Ivy. Mm -hmm. After selling more than 75% of the apartments in Building One, uh, they've started the second building. 
And uh, the first phase includes two buildings and comprises 228 apartments in total. Uh, the, the building benefits from an excellent location and is located in northern Bucharest. Um, and the IB's concept is created to obtain a BRIAM Excellence Certificate, mm -hmm. which we're hearing a lot of these days in the residential sector as well. And it supports health and well-being through sustainable buildings while protecting natural resources. And a Speedwell, like many developers today, is committed to a sustainable future for all its projects. Well, Speedwell is always one of the top, the top operators, top developers down there. Yeah, yeah, they're developing, also developing office buildings in mm -hmm. Bucharest at the moment. Uh, moving back to Poland, and uh, on the capital markets front, uh, Cushman and Wakeful have announced changes to its capital markets team. Um, they've, uh, they've sensed or seen a lot of momentum in quarter two, 2021. And uh, they're predicting more investments transactions to be completed by the end of the year, and uh, which means a possible return to usual market volumes. And uh, they've seen increased activity in industrial, residential, and uh, this this could uh, turn out to translate into new pricing benchmarks. So they they're saying this is going to create a lot of competition amongst amongst investors. Mm -hmm. So um, you know they need they need extra extra help, let's say, on the industrial advisory front. Mm -hmm. and, so um, they're expanding that sec that. Well, group, what, yep. you know, what's happened is that uh, Soran Rodian Olsen, he's, uh, he's left after mm -hmm. 10 years mm -hmm. and he's mm -hmm. gone to work for a, um, a Scandinavian private equity group. Sure. And, and Jeff, Jeff Olsen, he's, he will now be heading up, he's the head of capital markets in Central Eastern Europe. He'll be now heading up the, the Polish office and okay. they'll be concentrating on logistics, retail office, as well as alternative sectors. Okay, I think Jeff was up here most of the time anyway. So. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and now they, this, the, their team has been reinforced by four new people. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've already closed a number of transactions this year. And they estimate a pipeline of USD 900 million by the end of the year. Wow, great. So busy time. Mm -hmm. And finally for today, uh, CA IMO have announced a good lease and success in Poland for the first half of 2021. Uh, they've signed a total of 14 lease agreements in office projects in Warsaw. Uh, they've strengthened their cooperation with existing and long-standing business partners, and they've acquired a few new tenants along the way. So it's been a busy period for them. The biggest transaction uh, was the extension of lease agreement by the company called FinTech uh, in the Siena Center, and they decided to stay in the building for an extra five years, and they, they, they leased 3,000 square meters, so it's a pretty big one there. Big deal, yeah. Yeah. And uh, according to CMO, they're looking back on the first half of 2021, and they've they're reporting a stable operating performance, which in light of the uh, mixed subdued market conditions with, you know, hybrid office working, working from home mm -hmm. and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, the continue of continued uh, pandemic situation, they're very good results. And uh, Warsaw is one of the key markets for CAMO in the region where it's been present since 2001. Great. Well, it sounds like, yeah, I mean, a great, anytime you can sign an office lease these days of those size, uh, excellent job. Anyway, if you need any more information or any news on uh, the commercial real estate market for Central Eastern Europe, um, definitely go to our website, europaproperty.com. Mippin's coming up. Our magazines are ready. If you want to do some advertising or send some things uh, to, to be seen better or more promotion, let us know. We got our stand there as well. P3, uh, B19, pop by and say hi if you're in Cannes. And other than that, enjoy the rest of the day and we will see you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now preparing for the CEE region's flagship event for investors and developers, the Europa Property Investment Awards, which will be live and online October 20th and 21st. With a total of over 400 international and regional attendees, this event is not to be missed. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.